So today we're going to talk a little bit about suspension. And the first disclaimer that I'm going to make is I don't know much about suspension. Learned a little through the process of going to a dual rate shock system or spring system that I put on my razor. And what I wanted to do is not show an installation video. There's a ton of those on YouTube already. But maybe give you a little insight on what to expect and how good the system really works. So what we'll do is show you a stock system versus a dual rate system. So this is a factory suspension on a RZR1000 2019 model. Uh, when we say dual rate springs and you first look at this shock, you see two different springs. That does not make it a dual rate spring system. The first spring is strictly a tender spring that's holding enough pressure on the bottom spring to keep it tight and from moving around or vibrating. So essentially you're riding on this bottom spring only. That was uh, Polaris's design. I don't know why. It works relatively good. It's comfortable, but there's room for improvement. So what we have here is we have a preload ring, a small about a four or five inch spring. Then we have a, a slider which separates the strings. And then we have a main spring. And now I'll go to an altered suspension system and we'll explain the difference. So what we have now is a 2018 Polaris Turbo. And as you can see, we've replaced the Polaris springs with Walker Evans springs. Now our top spring is no longer compressed and we've got a lot more adjustability. And as you can see here, and we'll do a better picture, we've uh, added a lockout ring and I'll explain to you what that is. Our slider is still here. And the way this works in theory is the small bumps and you know, rough terrain would be absorbed by the lighter spring. In the event that you hit a large bump or do a jump landing, this spring would collapse enough to engage this ring to engage the heavier spring below, which gives us more of a trophy truck suspension. And this is what they call a true dual rate spring system. So I decided to go with a dual rate spring system on my Polaris RZR and uh, started doing some research on the internet and mostly pros about having a dual rate spring system. I made several calls to three or four of the major companies that do it and the one I got a good response from was Walker Evans Racing. Walker Evans walked me through uh, getting the right spring rates to make my ride the way I wanted it for my style of driving and the amount of plushness that I wanted. I started out with Josh over at Walker Evans, wound up uh, dealing with Jason where he did some spring graphs on the computer. They gave me spring rates and how they would react and different conditions and wound up having Reed dial the system in for me. Walker Evans guys were great. Uh, their main concern that I was happy with the product. That doesn't happen in a lot of companies today. They made me uh, several, gave me several different options and were eager to help. Um, we're not good, like I said before, we're not doing an installation video. There's plenty of those to do and the install at each springs are really simple. Anybody could do it. It is important that you give them information about the weight of your machine and your style of driving so that they can get you the right spring rate. Some of the things I didn't hear about from anybody along the way was because of the dual rate moving up and down the shock body, which my suspension didn't do before, you're going to get some squeaks and creaks that you didn't have before. But after 30 or 40 miles on my machine, things seem to clearance themselves and work out better. The lockout ring will hit the spring at times and make rub marks on the ring, normal. The uh, 
sliders sometimes will make a little bit of a clicking sound normal when the tender spring engages the main spring that lockout ring when it hits the shock body that's going to make a clicking sound that's all normal uh, those were all questions I had and concerns after I did the spring system and just would have been nice you know along the way if somebody would have warned me about that but not a problem just was a concern once it was clarified all good did this make my car ride like a Cadillac no it did not uh, it's a noticeable different better than it was uh, whoops G out seemed to be a lot easier on my body and the car. I did not go with revalving of the shocks. Uh, everyone I talked to said that the main part of getting a better ride was the spring. I guess the next step would be revalving the shocks. I think at that point I would probably just upgrade to the velocity shock. Walker Evans showed me the velocity shock really high-tech shock and just a beautiful piece of equipment again the guys at Walker Evans were great um, was it worth a thousand dollars that's something you'll have to talk to yourself about um, it's definitely improvement and I think it was worth a thousand dollars uh, is it night and day difference from stock? No. Is it better? Yes. Probably 50% better. And the nice thing is, with the dual rate spring system gives you so much more adjustability. You can move the lockout ring and make the shock perform differently. And you still have your compression settings. So it's more adjustability for different terrains, different types of riding and just makes the machine what it should have been when you bought it. If you have any questions, send it to us in our comments. Remember to like and subscribe. We're trying to grow our channel. It's the only way we can do it is with subscribers. Uh, thanks again for watching and have a good day.